What's up YouTube? This is JL Folks and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be talking about heritage guitars and specifically the Custom Core H150 versus the standard H150. I know a lot of you out there are thinking about buying a standard H150 and also thinking about buying a Custom Core so I thought I'd break it down in this video and show you some of the differences between these two guitars. I want to start this video first off by saying that this is not a Heritage Guitars sponsored video at all. I am however a Heritage artist and have been endorsed by them for several years and both of the guitars I'm about to show you in this video I paid for personally out of pocket. My Heritage Standard H150 was purchased in 2016 at Wolf Guitars in Jupiter, Florida. This is the first Heritage guitar that I ever purchased. I remember specifically falling in love with the way this guitar felt in my hands. It really reminded me of an older Gibson. It came as a plain top and an almond sunburst finish, also equipped with Seymour Duncan 59 humbuckers. It also came with the pit guard, but I chose not to put it on this guitar. My Custom Core H150 was also purchased at Wolf Guitars in Jupiter, Florida, but was purchased recently in 2021 on my last tour in South Florida. It was built in the Heritage Custom Shop and has a beautiful dark cherry burst. It also features some of the 225 Parsons pickups, which are some of the hand-wired pickups that are built in the Heritage Custom Shop. Although these two guitars look very similar, there are some major differences between the two, so let's break it down. Let's start first with the guitar cases and the ones that came with these two guitars. Here we are looking at the standard H150 hard shell case that came with the guitar in 2016. This is a great hard shell case and one you would expect out of any standard heritage guitar. It's been on the road a lot and has a little bit of wear but it's held up and I believe in 2018 or 2019 Heritage actually started making their cases a little bit better and the last Heritage standard I owned that was a 2020 actually came with a really great case. This case is a little bit basic in the inside but it definitely has held up and got the job done for me. The case that came with my custom core however is beautiful on the outside and inside. It features a Heritage Custom Shop logo on the side and when you open it up it has a beautiful green interior and you can just tell that this case is made a lot better than the standard case. It is however much heavier than the standard case and it may even weigh more than the guitar itself. Now let's talk about one of the differences that you're going to notice right away between these two guitars and that is the headstock. The standard H150 has a slimmer headstock design and has a pretty basic logo that says the Heritage. It also comes with Grover tuners. The Custom Core H150 headstock is a little bit wider than the standard, which I personally like better. It also has some pearl inlays which are pretty cool, as well as a different logo. Instead of saying THE Heritage like the standard, the Custom Core just says Heritage. On the back of the headstock we have some Heritage Custom Shop tuners that really work great and keep your guitar in tune. One of the most noticeable differences you will see with these two guitars is the weight. All of the standard H150s are not chambered and they're solid pieces of mahogany which makes these guitars pretty heavy. And that was a big game changer for me when playing my standard H150 live. Standard H150s typically weigh in at about 9.2 pounds. The Custom Core, however, weighs in at about 8 to 8.5 pounds. They use a lighter piece of mahogany, which was definitely a game changer for me when performing live. The next difference you're going to find with these two guitars is actually the neck shape. The standard H150 comes with a standard C-shaped neck profile with a rosewood fretboard. However, some of the older standard H150s come with a little bit fatter neck profile. The Custom Core H150 comes with a 50s C-shaped neck profile, which is more similar to the 59 Les Paul and some of the later 50s vintage Gibson guitars. Next we have the pickups, which is another big game changer between these two guitars. The standard H150 comes with two 59 Seymour Duncan humbuckers, which are great for blues and classic rock and just a great overall pickup for a standard guitar. 
The Custom Core, however, comes with its own Heritage Custom Shop pickups called the 225 Parson pickups. These are very similar to the vintage PAF style pickups and are very articulate. I really noticed it the first time I played this guitar live of how precise everything sounded with it and it also screamed like no other guitar I have and it can also get very warm when I want it to. The last key difference you're going to see between these two guitars is the finish. Both of these guitars are available in a plain top, a burst, or an artisan age finish. The standard H150s come with a light reflecting gloss nitrocellulose lacquer finish, which is a little more glossier than the custom core, but some of the finishes that come on the standards are beautiful and I really didn't think that they could get any better until the custom core came along. The Custom Core H150 comes with a light reflecting vintage gloss nitrocellulose lacquer finish, which I think works a lot better to capture those vintage guitar vibes. It will also age better over time and really makes the maple cap pop on this guitar. One more thing I should point out about the Custom Core H150 is that the binding also has a yellowish vintage vibe to it as well, which really makes this guitar fall into that vintage guitar like category. As of right now in 2022 the standard H150 retails for about $2600 and the custom core retails for about $4000. Although there is a big price gap between these two guitars I do strongly recommend getting a custom core H150. I've had two standards in my lifetime and they are great guitars and I definitely recommend them to anyone out there looking for an alternative to something like a Gibson Les Paul. However, the Custom Core H150, in my opinion, is a much better all-around guitar. For a serious player like me, it's hard to beat the weight of the guitar, the playability, the sound, and the look of it as well. The Custom Core H150 definitely helped fill a void in my guitar collection, and I'm 100% happy with it. Well, there you have it. That is my standard H150 versus my Custom Core H150 by Heritage Guitars. Both are really great guitars and I recommend Heritage Guitars to anyone out there looking for an alternative. They're great and I definitely rely on them for my shows and my studio work. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It all helps with the algorithm and definitely helps support this channel. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.